Once you've logged into Aweber, you're going to go to My Lists and select Create a List. So the basic information, you need to put in a list name. This is a unique code, um, but you should name it uh, something to do with the topic of the list. So you might put um, D is D and it will tell you if that list name is available. If it's not available, it will be read. So list name, um, you can say list description. Um, from name, put your name and an email address. Use a Gmail address if you like. Don't use, as I say here, don't use AOL, Yahoo or Hotmail. Gmail is okay though. Put in a contact address, um, preferably not your home address. Um, and then you want a, a notification email address here as well. So then when people sign up to your list, you are notified. and then click save. Okay. Next, you can personalize your list. Um, but for this, we're not going to worry too much about this. We're going to just go to confirmed opt-in and scroll down and all you need to do now is click off. So this makes sure that when people fill in the form and press submit they are automatically added to your list and not having to do a double opt-in which means they are sent an email and then they have to click on the email to confirm. So turning off the double opt-in um, means a lot more people will be subscribed to your list. And then click save. Okay, so now we need, we've got our, our list name and now we need to create a sign up form. Create your first sign up form. So there's a few different templates you can use. Um, what we're just going to do is a very simple one, just this one that's here will do. Um, we just want their name and their email address. Go to step two. Um, give it a name and save. Then go to step three. Now, if you have ordered a, a marketing page from us, we need this code here. Um, I think this one here. So you can either copy that code and send it to us or put in um, your name and email address here and our email address here. So you can send it to info at pmdsd.com uh, and, and then a quick message. Or you can just copy this. Copy and then copy it into a notepad. Save it. and then attach it to an email to us. So we'll put that code into your marketing page 
and that means when people when you send traffic to your page people put in their email address and they're added to your list okay so the next next thing you need to do is go to messages and select follow up series okay so you want to go down to legacy message editor so your first follow up email I'm going to send you a notepad with a heap of emails so if you just have that open on another screen um, so you can quickly copy and paste we'll start with the title the subject here uh, if you click on personalize and just select name so it will be first name just want to say a quick hello and thank you for stopping by now copy paste so make sure you personalize these emails slightly as well so you can go hi my name just space things out a wee bit if you like um, you can highlight some things make them bold or uh, highlight them with the color Stand out a wee bit more. And as I said, just personalize the message a bit more. Uh, signature. Copy in your name and you can put your phone number or your Facebook link, Skype link. Um, you've noticed that we haven't put any links in here at all it should be time uh, so it's just a very friendly basic email saying um, look out for, for our next email so once you put your signature in there uh, just save it to add your second follow-up email so click the drop down previous me message editor now I'm just pasting in from the text file Again, just go through to make sure that all the spelling's good. Um, Roger wrote this, so I <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if there's a few um, spelling mistakes. Now, down here, he's put this is where you put your link. Okay, so you can copy in your uh, big long Dears Domination affiliate link, or you can add in your domain name, uh, personalized domain name. For example, our one is dsdbiz.com. Um, that goes to our marketing page, but if, I, if they're already on our Aweber list, I send them to info, which is the direct join link. Um, so highlight that. Go up to this little button here, the world on it. And down here where it says URL, just paste that. Insert, and that will hyperlink it. Okay. So go through, tidy it up a bit. Actually, um, I don't really like Times New Roman, so I always change it to say Arial. Makes it look a bit nicer. Um, and then add in your signature. Now down the bottom here, interval, this is important, change to 4 to 1 and then save. So there's five emails all up, so keep going through and copying and pasting um, your subject, your message, 
put in your links um, and just make sure when you go down to interval you change that to one and click save and that's all we do